Okay, now welcome to the last stop on this tour bus To the top where I was told her work would lure us Sure enough, look where I'm headed The opposite direction of the life that I dreaded Yo YouTube, what's up? I'm Tim from the Cash Guy and AC Sports Report and he is Justin from Sports News Insider. We have been breaking down the MLB at a level that no one else here on YouTube does lately and it will continue here as we give you our MLB All-Star Game predictions. Uh, first off, Justin, you're an American League guy, I'm a National League guy. Read off the American League starting lineup. Uh, the starting lineup goes like this. We got Alex Avila playing catcher, Adrian Gonzalez at first, Cano at second, Adrian Belcher at third, Astrid Cabrera at shortstop, Jose Batista, Curtis Cranton, Josh Hamilton in the outfield, David Ortiz at DH, and we have on the mound for the American League for the starters, we got Jared Weaver representing the LA Angels. Now, when you go over to the National League spot, you got Ricky Weeks at second base, Carlos Beltran at DH, Matt Kemp in center field. Prince Fielder's playing first. Brian McCann of the Braves is catching. Lance Berkman out in right field. A lot of people had questions about if this guy could still play that field. Well, he's starting in right field. Matt Holliday out in left field. Troy Tulowitzki at shortstop. And I don't know how he's there, but Scott Rowland of the Reds is at third base. Doc Halliday starting. I mean, it was basically... He was going to start, or Jair Jurgens was going to start, and Bruce Bochy chose uh, Roy Halladay. So, Justin, what do you think about the NL uh, pitching, about the choice to start Roy Halladay? Uh, I think it was a big question because you have Roy Halladay and Jair Jurgens who are doing phenomenal so far. I think this is going to. I think it was the right choice for Bochy to have uh, Roy Halladay as your starter. And I think in the American League, it was either, I, I probably think that Jared Weaver is the guy if you, because in the NL, or in the All-Star game rather, you're only talking about going a few innings. I mean, if you're talking about trying to have someone go the whole game, then yeah, it probably would have made more sense to start Justin Verlander. But just a few innings, I like the choice of Jared Weaver. Now, uh, I... Go ahead. Really, like, the, no, the starters get maybe two or three innings, and like, after that... It's always a new either reliever. I think Justin Verlander could come right out after uh, Weaver's done pitching after like the first two or three innings. So yeah, and I think in the NL you're gonna see the um, you're gonna see guys like Tim Lincecum, Jair Jurgens, Cliff Lee, uh, Matt Kane. More people come right out firing. So we'll have to see. Um, read off the reserves from the American League, Justin. All right, I want to go off position hitters. Um, Russell Martin of the Yankees, Matt Weeters. We got Miguel Cabrera, Paul Pernerico, my boy Howie Kendrick, Kevin Euclid, Alex Rodriguez, David Jeter, Johnny Peralta, Michael Padire, Jacoby Ellsbury, Matt Joyce, Carlos Quentin, Michael Young, Josh Beckett, Aaron Crow, Gio Gonzalez. Um, we're going to go right into pitching. Uh, that, actually, I was starting to say pitching. We got Josh Beckett, Aaron Crow, Gio Gonzalez. Felix Hernandez, Brandon Lee, John Lester, Alexio Gondo, Chris Perez, Michael Pineda, David Price, David Robertson, Ricky Romero, Mariano Rivera, CC Sabathia, James Shields, Jose Valverde, Burmander, my boy Jordan Walden, CJ Wilson. There has been a lot, and I mean a lot, of reserves coming into this game. So you're not going to see guys like uh, David Price pitching tonight. Um, so expect that to come tomorrow. I mean, yeah, and I mean, for the American League, you're talking about a ton of reserves and the National League. Just not a ton of people are thrilled to be in this. It, I believe Jeter even said he's not going to play, so there, there's not a whole lot of interest, so we've seen a lot of replacements. For the NL, you got Yadier Molina, Miguel Montero, they're the catchers, Gabby Sanchez, and Joey Votto, uh, the reserves at first base. Brandon Phillips, and, or Brandon Phillips with reserve at second. Jose Reyes, a reserve at short. Placido Polanco is listed. He will not play because of injury. Pablo Sandoval, the Kung Fu Panda. Chipper Jones will not play because of injury. Starlin Castro, the Cubs, one of their few bright spots. Ryan Braun, Jay Bruce, Hunter Pence, Andrew McCutcheon, everyone's favorite Pittsburgh Pirate, Justin Upton, and Shane Victorino, who will also not play. He will be replaced he actually got in on the final vote, but then got injured against the Blue Jays. He will be replaced by Andre Ethier, 
of the Dodgers, who is probably more deserving of being in there in the first place. All right, so Justin, is there anything else you want to get to before we get to our final prediction for score and MVP? Uh, I have to get into one thing. A lot of personal before we get into the like my prediction on who's going to be MVP. Personal note: I'm not really going to care on who wins this game because there's a lot of like I bet there's going to be like, a lot of people who are huge MLB fans that'll tune in. But on a personal note, on me, I really couldn't care who wins. It's just who's going to be who's going to get the home field advantage during the World Series. I really couldn't care less, guys. Yeah, and normally I would come at you and say, oh, but home field advantage means so much. But it really doesn't because there hasn't been a seven-game World Series since 2003. And, like, three out of the last four have been five games or less. So it there, there's clearly been one superior team, and it hasn't mattered who has had home field advantage. That That's the simplest way to put it. Justin, give a prediction on your score, MVP, and which league wins. Alright, which league wins? I'm going to have to represent the American League, even though NL won last year for the first time in like 20 years. Um, AL will win, maybe same score as the, what was it, the Seagulls game, 6-4. MVP, it depends. I mean, you can go with anybody here pretty much, because I'm looking, you guys are looking at the photo here. You guys, you, got, you see Ace in Bellatrix, David Ortiz, Jose Batista, Granderson, as Dribble Cabrera. I mean, all these guys are having great seasons so far, but if I had a mixed prediction and this guy is just coming out, I'm going to have to go with Josh Hamilton. Yeah, and he's gone through an unfortunate week with that whole fan dying thing, so that would be pretty neat to see. I'm going to go with the NL. I think the AL starting lineup blows away the NL. But the NL's pitching depth is just mu it's much better. I think, you know, you, you can, even as an Angels fan, you can admit that Roy Halladay's better than Jared Weaver, right? Yeah, I'm also a Yankees fan. So. Yeah, yeah. He likes both teams, and he can certainly admit that Roy Halladay's probably been the best player in the... Unlike some people. Best, one of the best pitchers in the league over the past few seasons. And then I think you look at the NL's pitching depth. You got Cliff Lee... You got Matt Cain, Tim Lincecum, Jair Jurgens, Clayton Kershaw, Kevin Correa's had another solid season. Johnny Venner's at the back end of that bullpen, man. That would be nice if you can get the ball to him. Brian Wilson. I'm going to go with the NL and a low scoring, close game where everyone will say it's boring. I'm going to say 2 1 National League, and the big hit and the MVP will go to Pittsburgh Pirates outfielder. Andrew McCutcheon. That's your all-star game prediction. We will see you later.